What's happening guys, I'm Gav, this is Valley's Tarantulas, welcome back to the channel guys. Once again, thank you all massively for coming, it really does mean a much. Much? A lot. Right, as you can see today guys, is going to be the pickups from the Southern Invert Show. Hell of a show, the most busiest show I've ever been to, I think there might actually have been more people there than it was at the BDS. Um, the video I put out, it was about as best as I could do in the filming because it was absolutely hectic in there. Um, a little sweat box, which is all good. So, uh, yeah, let's just get on to the, uh, I got, I didn't buy a lot. I normally spend about 200 quid a show, but uh, this time I'm a bit skinned, a bit close to Christmas, and I spent 50 pounds. Bargain. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. And at the end, guys, I've got a little bit of sad news. Sort of sad. It's not a loss, but you'll see. Anyway. Let's have a look what got bought. Oh, I'm saying, Brittany. Right, this is one of the purchases. Now, as you can see, this was £45 mystery box. Once upon a time in Mexico. As you can see from the spider shop. Now, with this box, I had one, two, three, four, five, six teas. Which is absolutely tremendous. And um, I also had certification paperwork. To say that they are what they are. Obviously, if you don't know, the spider shop have imported them um, from Mexico, and that is the paperwork to say that the tarantula is the exact tarantula that you buy. So let's get into it, guys. Obviously, from Mexico, this is a bracket pound the box. Ninety percent of them are. One isn't. So we do the one that isn't first. The one that isn't is the D. Pentalores or the Costa Rican Tiger Rump. With you, little fella. And there he is, by the way. Absolute little beauty. So I've yet to rehouse any of these. Most of the others, apart from the last one I'll show you, does don't really need rehouses. This one could do with one. But yeah, I have an adult female, so fingers crossed this is a male. Sweet, that's the first one. Now the rest are little, as you can see, tiny, tiny slings. There's one in there. Sorry about the glare. Oh, he's moving for us. I'm now going to try the Kallenberg, Brachia Palma Kallenbergi, and as I say, you can just about make it out by there. Let's have a look, there he is. Sweet, there's the one. Now the others you're probably not going to see because they are minuscule. Giant orangey, smithy. Up oh, there it is. Hello. Little fella, or lady. I actually have one of these that I've grown on. Uh, with you two. And there. I don't know if you can just make out. There. I've had that since it was this big. It's, it's taken about a year to get that big, so. Yeah, there's the one. Next one, guys, we have the Mexican Rose Grey. Verdes. Brachia Palma Verdes. But you two up oh, just at the back of there, guys, who just make this bum out. Like I said, they are absolutely tiny, these are. Sweet. See the water now in there? I haven't actually watered any of these since I brought them home. This is just the temperature in my room. This is what it does. I've got to leave stuff in. It'll evaporate all the soil and then I start watering. Otherwise, I'll overwater. Sweet. Next one. Ding, ding, ding. The Oklahoma Brown. Oh, it's not black. Sorry. I'm not even going to have a go at that one. Uh, where are you two, little fella? This one is absolutely minuscule. It is there just, it was just by my finger there. It's being the same, it's tiny, absolutely tiny. But this I don't have. New edition? Yes, yes. And last but definitely not least out of the mystery box is the fire leg. Brighter Palma Bohemi. And there it is. And Obviously, if you guys know these are sling pots, so you generally have a rough idea of how small they are. Awesome. And then I went to, I think it's Unseen Universe. I think it's Unseen Universe, guys. And I bought myself another Mantis. Now, this is uh, Membranica, the giant Asian. I had one of these grew it on. And it just passed over level three. So I thought I'd try again. Though this. 
this is the only one that's uh, going to have a rehouse now. I've got a little uh, tub for him. He'd probably be alright in here for a little bit, but we're going to get him out. So, yeah. Sweet. That was my pickups, guys, from the uh, from the show. Uh, yeah, not a great deal. Uh, done the raffle. I never win any raffles. So I didn't win anything, obviously. But, uh, I don't know, have a look. What's, what's he doing? What are you doing? Get back over here. Because I know what you like. Cheeky Brinley. Nothing else happened? No. Right. On to the not so good news. In this enclosure here, you will all know if you watch the videos, this is my D. Ocavensis fishing spider beast. The spider is there, and as you can see, if you've watched the videos, it was carrying an egg sac. Now, the egg sac is sure, and it looks open. So I'm thinking that it's been carrying a dud. I've spoke to a few people and they say that they do make sacks, um, basically for fun. So, uh, yeah, you see there's the, the spider there. It's a true spider, obviously. And this here is the sack. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll add a photo at the end of her with the sack, so it gives you an idea. But um, yeah, sadly guys, it looks like that is a dud. Well, it is. There's no looks like about it. Otherwise, you'd have little dots all around my room. So yeah, in a way, I'm not too gutted because I didn't really want to deal with that many of them. But in another way, pardon me, it would be a lot nicer to see them. So yeah, that's for today's video, guys. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you all next year at the shows. Please like, comment, subscribe on the video. And like I've said before, if any of you need any advice, you're more than welcome to get in touch with me, either through YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. And that'll be it for today, guys. I'm Gav. You guys are awesome. This is Valley Strangelas. Peace!